crazy cheap chick. Let's go see what groceries we can find today. back from the grocery store i'm going to turn the camera around show you what i got we'll talk about our meal plan for the week uh, then i'm going to give you a couple of frugal living tips that i've learned over the years and then i'll tell you what's going on around here and a couple of little stories i spent 103.56 pre-tax and i'm going to go through what i got with you i got some cream for 549 i don't buy milk because we don't use very much milk i just water down half and half if i need milk and these were on sale, so I thought I would try them. These perfectly crafted flats. Two sweet potatoes for $2.38. A cabbage for $1.59. I'll tell you, cabbage and sweet potato really give you a lot of bang for your buck. Four cans of beans, and they were 89 cents each. I got two black beans and two pinto beans. This perfectly crafted bread, which was on sale for $3.99. A red pepper for $1.49, a green pepper for $0.79, cents. and these avocados, which were $3.89, and just the individual avocados in the store, the cheapest I saw was $1.49 each, so it was definitely cheaper to buy them in the bag. Now, these were sale items. They had grapes on sale for $1.99 a pound, and so this big bag of grapes was $4.64. And this huge bag of cherries, cherries were on sale for $1.99 a pound also. So this big bag of cherries was $5. These mini cucumbers were $2.49 on sale. These hamburger buns were $0.99 cents on sale. The snack tomatoes were $2.49 a package. I got two of them. And this salsa was $2.99. They had cheese on sale, and it was $1.99 a package, and you could buy up to five. I got some chicken on clearance for $5.02. Looks like it had originally been $7.73. Three yellow peppers for $0.99, cents because when they're in the red net bag, they're $0.99. Cents. And this big thing of eggs for $2.34. Now, I just got eggs. I bought them from my friend who raises chickens, and I pay her about $2 a carton, and they're way better eggs, but I'm going to use these eggs for something. Then I got this Stone Mill Kitchen Spicy Pepper and Three Cheese, some kind of dip. It was marked 202, but I had a coupon loaded, so it rang up for 99 cents. This feta dip was 247, and then I got two packages of this shredded parmesan cheese which i only meant to pick up one package i don't know why i picked up two then cilantro it's usually cheaper to buy it in a great big huge bunch but they didn't have a great big huge bunch they didn't have any cilantro except this and so i got this for dollar fifteen and my pomegranates were on, on clearance for dollar forty put those in some salads probably this is probably the best deal right here. I found this Tide and Tide Downy, and they were $5.85 for these big containers. Now, they had, I think it was all on Snuggle, on sale for $2.49 each, and you could buy up to five. But the problem is these uh, are cheaper per ounce. So always make sure you're checking that per ounce. Then... Uh, they had these kids' vitamins on clearance for $2.62. I went ahead and got two of them. John Wayne and I will take them. Um, we're kids at heart. This spinach for $1.22. Some graham crackers for $1.12. Now, when I was a kid, you would make like a thick icing out of um, powdered sugar and vanilla and a little bit of milk and put it between two graham crackers and call it a cookie. And then I got this little flour 
for $2.16. He's still got a little life in him, I think. Anyway, that's what I got for my $103. Quite a bit of food, really. What are we going to eat this week? I am trying to be so good on my diet, and so I tried not to buy anything too bad. <laughs> I bought a few processed foods, but not too much. Uh, for breakfast, we're going to be having eggs. Of course, I always use the cream in my coffee. But we're going to have fried eggs. We're going to have scrambled eggs. We're going to have boiled eggs and toast because <laughs> I've got that bread over there. And we're going to eat eggs a ton of different ways. And then I'm going to boil um, a bunch of these eggs and make deviled eggs. And I'm also going to make egg salad sandwiches. So that's why I needed that bread down there. I got this cabbage, sweet potatoes. I'm going to make what I call my Greek plate because if I put an avocado anywhere on the plate and a olive anywhere near the plate, it's suddenly a Greek plate. <laughs> but really, it's just roasted sweet potatoes. I'll probably roast some cabbage, um, put a little bit of um, rice and olives. and It's just a mixture of food. I think they kind of call that a girl plate anymore. Then... These peppers are going to be for two different dishes, the peppers and the salsa and the avocado and the chicken. I'm going to make fajitas one night, and tonight I think I'm going to make a chicken, um, spicy chicken rice bowl, let's call it that, kind of a chipotle bowl, and I'm going to put black beans in it. Then one night we're going to have hamburgers. And I've got pork and beans, so maybe I'll make some beans to go with the hamburgers. And I've also got some leftover um, brisket, so we'll probably have brisket sandwiches one night also. And I've got some vegetables to use as sides. I've got corn and different things, so I have a lot of potatoes, so I could do a lot of different sides with those sandwiches. But I'm trying to not make as much food. Then lunches, you know, are always salad. And uh, I thought I might try to make euros with this artesian flat. I thought I could use two of them and some of that brisket with the cucumbers and this feta dip and try to make kind of a uh, knockoff euro. And I got this cheese, which, I, like I said, I only meant to get one package. But I got it for some pasta because I know one night I want to make pasta. I didn't want to buy specialty bread for toast, so I'll probably just use this bread here. And this cilantro is for the fajitas in that bowl that I'm making tonight. This, this stuff just goes in the prepper pantry. Um, but I think I did pretty good. We're going to eat pretty healthy. And I'm trying to give us a variety of things, but obviously... We're eating a lot of fruits and vegetables in an effort to lose weight. I had to run back to the store because I forgot one thing. These extreme wellness tortillas, because we're having um, fajitas tonight. And the reason I wanted these is they're only 35 calories each. And they've got a lot of fiber in them. But while I was there, I also found this guacamole for two thirty-five, dollars And... <laughs> Yesterday, I couldn't decide whether to buy this toilet paper or not. It's $3.99 a package, which is about as low as it goes. But I already have quite a bit of toilet paper. And then I heard John Wayne in my brain going, Just buy the toilet paper! Just buy the toilet paper! <laughs> he likes to be really stocked up. Okay, kids, I've got two frugal tips I want to share with you. One is about toilet paper. Now, I had three kids and they would go through the toilet paper when they were kids. You know, they just pull it off, pull it off, and you know, they'll have three foot of toilet paper. Well, what you do is you squish your toilet paper before you put it on the holder, and then it doesn't roll quite as well, and they will use less. Now, my grandma, <laughs> my grandma said back in the 30s when she was a kid that her grandma would only give them one square. <laughs> So before they went in the bathroom, she gave them one square. She couldn't spare more than one square. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess that's another thing you could do, but just squishing that toilet paper will really cut down on how much toilet paper is used. It's amazing. Then the second thing I wanted to tell you 
was about Febreze. Do you like Febreze? I love Febreze, but I'm not gonna spend the money for Febreze. It's too expensive. And so I make my own. And if you don't know how, it's so easy. I have a little bottle that I make it in and it is a super good imitation Febreze. It smells great. And all it is, is half fabric softener and half water. So any fabric softener will do. I just used this snuggle and in this little bottle, I put about halfway up with fabric softener, the rest of the way with water, and then you have got a great Febreze. Works wonderful, you'll love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna catch you up with what's going on here. As you know, our friends came and that went fabulous. We had a ton of fun. John Wayne said, I'll take care of all the meat. And I'm like, great. So he smoked a brisket and I tried to find a brisket at Dylan's. I couldn't find one. So he had to go to a meat store, a butcher shop in order to buy one. And all they had was one 20 pound brisket. <laughs> That's a ton of brisket. And they said it was because of Father's Day. They had sold out and hadn't got more in. So all they had was this one giant piece of meat. And he smoked it, turned out really well, but now I've got a lot of smoked brisket in the freezer because there's no way that uh, even 12 people can eat 20 pounds of meat. And uh, then one of the nights our friends were here, another couple had a party for them that we were invited to. And they had the cutest little baby horse. And so I'm gonna put some pictures of the um, baby horse at the end here for you to enjoy, cause he was adorable. But at this event, at this picnic, John Wayne was uh, um, tasked with bringing the meat to it. And so he had promised to make smoked chicken to bring. But we were so busy with our friends that he ran out of time. He just didn't have time to do it. And so I'm like, why don't we just go to Sam's Club and you can buy like four rotisserie chickens and cut them up and put them in your roaster. They'll stay warm in that. And he's like, yeah, we're going to have to do that because I don't have time. So we did. We go to Sam's Club. We buy the chickens. He cuts them up, puts them in his roaster, and he takes them to this event. And everyone is like, this chicken is delicious. This is the best chicken you've ever made, John Wayne. What'd you do different? I love it. <laughs> it really made us laugh. And he's like, 4.7 stars at Sam's Club. <laughs> so he confessed that he hadn't made it, but I think he was a little disappointed that everyone thought that chicken was so delicious. <laughs> Better than the chicken he makes, apparently. Anyway, um, it reminded me of a story. Years ago, I convinced John Wayne to enter a barbecue contest because he, he loves to smoke meat so much. So he uh, signed up and we went to the event and I, it is like high stress being in one of those competitions. I mean, there are like five categories. You get judged on presentation and all kinds of different things besides taste and it has to be turned in on time or you lose points and uh, you had to have a team name and his uh, the name that he picked was the chuck wagon you know like cowboys had a chuck wagon and uh, it was a big event and he came in about middle of the pack and i'm like i think that's great i mean for the first competition that you've ever been in you come in about the middle I'm like, you weren't expecting to win, were you? I mean, they're big prizes on some of those competitions. He's like, no, but I'm going to change my name from the check wagon to the mediocre smoker. <laughs> so uh, that's what we call him now, the mediocre smoker. <laughs> now, the other big news is that my baby birds were born. I think it's a house finch. Um, they're adorable in a baby way in that they're super ugly. <laughs> they don't have very many feathers on them right now. I don't disturb them very much because I don't want to scare the mom away, but I do have to water the plant every three days or so, so I take a look at them whenever I take the plant down and water it. And I also saw some cute baby raccoons and they were super sweet and frisky and fun, so I'll try to put that video on here also. 
Um, but the really big news is that we had two big storms last week, and the one Friday night was scary. <laughs> I, I don't normally get scared during storms, um, but this one, I was scared. Um, and it wasn't wind. It wasn't wind at all. It was lightning. And we were sitting in our living room. Of course, one whole wall of our living room is glass because we live in a mid-century modern home. And we're just sitting in the living room and the power had gone out and we're watching the lightning. And we have a generator, but you have to go flip a transfer switch. And John Wayne's like, I'm not even gonna turn that on until this lightning calms down. I don't wanna touch it. And I'm like, good. And so we're sitting in the dark living room watching the lightning. I saw it hit out in the field one time, which was weird. Like there's all these trees. If you're lightning, why don't you hit trees? Why are you hitting the ground? And um, it, it was just right on top of us. I've never heard thunder that loud. I've never seen lightning that bright or that frequent. And uh, we're sitting in the living room and all of a sudden we heard a noise. And the only way I know how to describe it is like if you're frying something. It was like a really loud crackling noise. And I started screaming, it's inside the house, it's inside the house. And I don't know if it was a buildup of static electricity or an EMP wave. Uh, I, I don't know what it was, but uh, there was obviously lightning hit the house or very close to the house and it made a noise and we heard it. And so we got up out and ran out of the living room and got into the hallway of the house. We were really worried that it would hit a tree and a tree would fall on the house. And the center of the house is probably the strongest point in the house. So after the storm, once John Wayne went and turned on the generator switch and we got the electricity back on, we noticed the air conditioner wasn't running. Well, that lightning had fried our air conditioning, um, and a whole bunch of electronics. And I don't know if it hit the house or just close by. John Wayne, being a master electrician, thinks that it hit the ground and probably traveled into the house on a wire or a pipe because you can't see a place anywhere on the house where lightning hit. So we don't know how the electricity got in the house, but we know it did because we have... Um, surge protectors on every panel, which is now required by code anyway. And we have an EMP shield and we have EMP uh, surge protectors on the electronics and it's still fried a bunch of stuff. And uh, so right now we don't have air conditioning or electronics. <laughs> Some of our electronics aren't working, which is sad because when we don't have um, internet, we don't have cell phone service because we live out in the country, kind of down in a valley, and we don't have internet. So uh, it's, it's kind of like living back in the 1800s, back in the pioneer days here. <laughs> but we grew up without air conditioning, and though it was super hot last week, like 108, um, now it's not quite as hot. It's in the upper 80s, which when you grew up without air conditioning, that's nothing. Um, we're old people, we can handle it, we're tough. But that's about all that's going on here. I hope that you're not being affected by storms or uh, anything else. Um, this weather's getting crazy, isn't it? Anyway, have a great week, and uh, I'm gonna put a few videos here on the end to entertain you. But if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe because I've got a really great video coming up next week. I've been doing some research and I hope you find it interesting. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. I'll talk to you soon. Now it's 108 outside and 80 inside. The air conditioner just can't keep up. You found a cool place to hang out, sissy? Yeah, under those plants, a pretty good place to stay cool. Yeah. Those look like a comfy spot. Looks like a comfy spot. Look at you all sleeping. They're so cute. How can you say they're not cute? They're so, I can, I can they're so ugly. Oh, they're super cute.
curious. Yeah, you're super curious, aren't you? I'm an Indian. I should be able to ride a horse. I gotta just hop the fence, jumped up on one bareback, grab, you know, grabbed a little hunk of hair, jumped up on him. He went, mm, and he grabbed, threw me right on him. And then looked at me like, come on, again? Come on. Yeah. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah. I got nothing for you. I got nothing for you. Do nothing. She's a nibbler. She's a, he's a nibbler. Yeah, you are okay. Oh, you're salty. Yeah. <laughs> it's a human licking. Oh, it's a salt lick. <laughs> Let's let's see your cute purse, Dad. Let's see your cute purse. Thank you. Uh, my date book is full, sir. You want my phone number? <laughs>